Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Tahitian County. As you can see, we are here in front of our sunflower field. And uh, as you can see, our alfalfa field is finished up. Um, let's go like this here. Um, I did get our auger moved as well. Uh, it is on to the next one. We have <clears throat> a little over a half full bin of uh, soybeans. Let's take a look here. Uh, we ended... That's the wrong one. Uh, 1,937.3 bushels that at its highest point should be worth about 152,000. And as for our last cutting of alfalfa, we ended this year with 90 alfalfa bales. I got quite a few bales off of this last cutting, which is kind of funny. Uh, I think I ended up with like 30-some bales on the last cutting. Uh, almost 40. Which is interesting because every other time it was... Uh, nowhere near that much, so. Alright, here. Okay, this is not at all right. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Let's cut some sunflowers. At least gonna see what we can get cut today. Hopefully we can get at least a somewhat decent yield off of uh, these sunflowers. Definitely a very small header compared to our uh, grain head, even our uh, corn head, which in all technicality, our sunflower or our corn head that we have is technically an all crop. So we could, in all reality, use that on sunflowers, but... We got an actual sunflower head for a reason, I guess. As we're missing a bunch. Let's do a little in cab combining here with this. What I'm hoping will happen is we'll get a fairly decent sunflower yield. And then have a good amount of this in our bin. And then we'll move on to corn. And if things could work out the way I want, we'd be able to fill one of our bins full of corn and start on a second. But I guess we'll just have to see. Um, 
I did talk with the banker more, and it's looking like uh, after harvest here, uh, we're going to go, him and I are going to sit down. We did get approved for that large loan. Obviously, we're not going to take out the entire loan, but we are going to take out a bit, and uh, we're going to figure out some upgrades and whatnot, some different machinery, and uh, figure out pricing, and then we're going to factor that into the loan along with the price of our cattle, and then uh, figure something out there for our loan and uh, see what we can make happen here. Let's take a peek at what our yield map is looking like. So far so good. Our biggest thing is that we're just not taking out a whole lot at a time, so. Combine is definitely going to be in need of a wash. All of our machinery will, in all reality. <clears throat> Combine is pretty dirty. Both of our trucks are dirty. Our 4440 is dirty. We got some uh, cleaning up to do after harvest here. So when we get down here to the end, we're just going to knock out this headland for now. And then we'll go down, cut out down there. And then, uh... We will... Worry about these headlands around the northern edge here. Whenever we, uh... Actually... Let's just jet straight across here. And uh, we'll cut this main section out first. Do it that way. slowly filling this header definitely has some interesting sounds So then we'll hit the end here, and then we're going to go back down along this edge. But we're going to go on our left here. Our GPS line is not wanting to line up very well. There we go. Perfect. Let's 
It's one thing with this combine is once you lock onto the GPS line, it just kind of takes a while to line itself up. Hopefully we'll have enough room in here to make it to the end before we fill. We should be okay though. Be close. We're at 96. Hopefully, we can make her. Oh, yeah. We are good to go. Whoa. See if I can line this thing up from in cab. center too. Definitely could not do that again if I tried. So I did, there is quite a bit of spots of hay left in the field, but I figured I wasn't going to worry about it. Um, I picked up enough to fill the baler because it was, it was close to full, but it wasn't full. So I, uh, just did enough to take care of that and I see we have two fill planes in here which is kind of interesting I thought I noticed that one other time but wasn't paying too close of attention hmm. so the extension itself has a separate fill plane and the uh, other fill plane just comes up around the edge of it. That's interesting. Definitely want to look at a different combine that unloads a little bit faster. This one takes forever. Finally about done. There we go. Alright. Plugging away at headlines here. I think I'm going to do three. Yeah, we might be good enough with just the two. But I think we'll do a third one, anyways. See, we got some weeds coming in on our sorghum stubble there. 
which is fine. We'll get those taken care of next year. Not gonna worry about spraying now. back down and open up the other end there. I have a feeling we're only going to maybe get two full trucks and a little bit more out of this. But we shall see, I guess. I'd like to upgrade to a, like a 9600 series combine, but uh, I guess we'll see. kind of want to stay up on that south end and work my way north, but eh, I think we'll just run the way that we are here. If we have to drive across the field, we have to drive across the field, I guess. It's not that big of a deal. So my GPS line needs to be right there for us to be considered straight. Okay. The way the cab is set up on this combine just kind of throws me off with the GPS line. Because we're not actually centered either on the GPS line nor on the actual combine frame, so you would think lining the steering wheel up would be considered straight, but in all reality it's actually not. Not with us, anyways. We're half full. So we're getting there. <clears throat> so 
So we need the line to be right about there, roughly. Oop. I'm too far. And about there. That's perfect. Now we got her lined up. Now I'm thinking of staying more no-till uh, for our operation. So I'm thinking we're going to keep well, I'm undecided. I thought about keeping our cultivator and having it for like when we want to rip up our alfalfa field or something like that. But I think we can just no-till that stuff too. So our cultivator is probably going to be something that goes. and So... <clears throat> and like I mentioned before... When I fact when I sit down with our banker and we talk some numbers, when I figure out machinery cost, I'm oh, excuse me. I'm not going to factor the cost in with a trade in. I'm just going to factor in the prices of us buying the machinery. And then, so we'll take out, we'll be technically taking out more loan than we actually need. But once we turn around and sell all the machinery that we're going to replace, then um, we can use some of that money and pay off some of the loan right away and um, it just it makes less of a hassle and so um, we're just gonna kind of do it that way <clears throat> I know our spreader is gonna stay our sprayer will stay um, our trucks might stay I'm thinking we're going to probably get a bigger tractor. Um, and then might look at like a bigger drill and a bigger planter. And then different combine and heads. And then uh, the biggest thing will be getting more land. That's kind of the main thing that I'm going to be focusing on. Because um, most of our machinery is going to suit us just fine for right now. Uh, and we're missing again. Um, you know, most of it will suit us fine for now. Oh, and you want to miss this whole entire thing. Okay. So, we're going to shift our track over a little bit then. Probably should have. You know what? We're gonna stop here. We need to go unload before we go all the way down. I don't think we'll be able to uh, go all the way down and back. So let's just go ahead and unload it right away. Yeah, so I'm thinking we're gonna look at getting. Uh, 127 and 128, uh, 143. We're going to take out all the waterways in 142 and 143. Um, I'm assuming there's a grass strip separating these two fields. We're going to take that out and have this as one big field. Because um, what I want to do then 
uh, 129 and 130, we're going to, uh, well, we might leave 130 as crop, but 129 we're going to take and put alfalfa into, and then we've got these two fields here that we can run. Uh, and then we're also going to probably put 138 if we pick that up. That or I'll leave that one as crop. Uh, but I think we're going to make that an alfalfa field. Let's see here. Actually, I think, yeah, what we'll do is we'll just put 129 into alfalfa. This, we're going to just make one field. We're going to pick up 141 and then probably 58 and 59 for sure. Uh, and then maybe 160. 147 would be a fitting size for us too, but that's a little bit of a stretch over there. Is my only concern. Well, so we have a full truck already. Okay, well that works, I guess. So then I think what I'm going to do is finish a majority of our sunflowers and uh, next episode we'll have just a little bit left. Maybe I'll knock out what we're working on now and then that other big section and then uh, when we come back tomorrow we'll uh, knock out this little section here and then get switched over to corn and uh, work on wrapping and harvest up I'm gonna try and get some a decent amount of videos done today but I also gotta go fix a brake fluid leak on my truck today that I found out last night that it has so this is I'm recording this on Sunday so I gotta go to work tomorrow morning so uh, kinda need that I have a hose that rubbed through on a different line so I gotta patch that up and uh, get that fixed. So hopefully it won't be too difficult of a fix. I'm hoping that it'll be simple. Because it's one of the steel lines. So my hope is that I can uh, throw in some JB Weld seal it back up and then wrap something around the hose that it was rubbing on to prevent it from happening again. So, but alrighty guys, that is going to do it for today. Like I said, I'll uh, get most of this finished up here and then when we come back, we'll finish it off and get moved on to corn. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Hit that subscribe button if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications to be notified every time I upload a new video. And as always, folks, we'll see you all tomorrow.